Hello, and welcome to another story time. Today, we're going to read a book titled A Chair for My Mother, and it's written by Vera B. Williams. So, our title says A Chair for My Mother. What do you think, what might that mean? Why a chair for my mother? So let's look at the cover. The cover might help us to figure something out. You can see a little girl, right? Looks like there's a little girl standing outside the door. The door of some place. What kind of place do you think that is? Look carefully, look inside. What are the people doing? Can you see food inside? Mm-hmm. And if there's food inside, then what are the people doing? Eating, right? So maybe it's some kind of a restaurant or place to eat. So we're going to have to read to find out why the title is A Chair for My Mother. But while we're reading, let's think about the reason why the title is A Chair for My Mother. Okay, are you ready to read? Here we go. So on the left we see, the place has a name, Blue Tile Diner. And a diner is a place where we can eat food. My family works My mother works as a waitress in the Blue Tile Diner. After school sometimes, I go to meet her there. Then her boss, Josephine, gives me a job too. So now we know that that girl, that girl is maybe the one who is telling the story. And one of the people in there is her mom, and her mom works there. I wash the salts and peppers and fill the ketchups. One time, I peeled all the onions for the onion soup. When I finish, Josephine says, good work, honey, and pays me. And every time, I put half my money into the jar. So she cleans the, the salt and pepper shakers and also she refills the ketchup bottle and sometimes she peels the onions for the onion soup. And does she make money for what she does? Yes. And does she save any of her money? Yep. How much does she save? She saves how much of it? We don't know the exact amount, but she said she saves half, right? So half of her money goes into her jar. Hmm, what will she do with this money? Okay, so there we see the jar, and that is the jar she puts her money into. It takes a long time to fill a jar this big. Every day when my mother comes home from work, I take down the jar. My mama empties all her change from tips out of her purse for me to count. So she mentioned the word tips and tips is extra money that somebody might give you for giving good service. So her mom works in a restaurant. So when she serves the food to people, people might give her extra money if she is nice to them and kind and if the food is good. So her mom gives her these tips to count. Then we push all of the coins into the jar. Sometimes my mama is laughing when she comes home from work. 
Sometimes she's so tired she falls asleep while I count the money out into piles. Some days she has lots of tips. Some days she has only a little. Then she looks worried. But each evening, every single shiny coin goes into the jar. So does her mom have the same amount of tips every day? No, sometimes it's more and sometimes it's less. And here we see the family. So it looks like grandma, mom, and her. And they have a pet cat. And there's that really big jar for the coins. Maybe that's mom with her shoes off, relaxing. We sit in the kitchen to count the tips. Usually, grandma sits with us too. While we count, she likes to hum. So hum is when we make the sound with our voice but we're not we don't have our mouth open often she has money in her old leather wallet for us whenever she gets a good bargain on tomatoes or bananas or something she buys she puts by the savings and they go into the jar So if grandma can get tomatoes, bananas for a lower price, the money that she saves can go into the jar. There's a picture of a big chair. When we can't get a single, other coin into the jar, we are going to take out all the money and go and buy a chair. So that means when the jar is full, so they cannot fit another coin, they're going to go buy what? They're going to buy a chair. Yes, a chair. A wonderful, beautiful, fat, soft, armchair. We will get one covered in velvet with roses all over it. So velvet is a kind of material. We are going to get the best chair in the whole world. That is because our old chairs burned up. There was a big fire in our other house. All our chairs burned. So did our sofa, and so did everything else. That wasn't such a long time ago. Okay, so we learned some sad news here. So what happened to their old house, the old place they lived? So there was a fire. So they had a fire and everything burned. So they lost everything in their home. Oh, that's so sad. So this is why they're saving up to buy another chair. And maybe this is why mom is working so hard. So here we see a picture of the city and mom and her are taking a walk. My mother and I were coming home from buying new shoes. I had new sandals. She had new pumps. We were walking to our house from the bus. We were looking at everyone's tulips. So tulips are a kind of flower. Here we see the red and pink tulips and the yellow tulips. She was saying she liked red tulips and I was saying I liked yellow ones. Then we came to our block.
Right outside our house stood two big fire engines. I could see lots of smoke. Tall orange flames came out of the roof. All the neighbors stood in a bunch across the street. Mama grabbed my hand and we ran. My uncle Sandy saw us and ran to us. Mama yelled, where's mother? I yelled, where's my grandma? My aunt Ida waved and shouted. She's here, she's here. She's okay, don't worry. Grandma was all right. Our cat was safe too, though it took a while to find her. But everything else in our whole house was spoiled. So she is telling about the story of the fire and how everything in their house burned. And although it's sad that everything burned in their home, luckily nobody was hurt or injured, right? Grandma's okay and her aunt is okay and her uncle is okay and their cat is okay. And here we see the burned house, so everything is black and burned inside. What was left of the house was turned to charcoal and ashes. We went to stay with my mother's sister, Aunt Ida, and Uncle Sandy. Then we were able to move into the apartment downstairs. We painted the walls yellow. The floors were all shiny, but the rooms were very empty. So did they get a new place? Yes, they got a new place and it was downstairs, so the apartment downstairs of her aunt and uncle. The first day we moved in, the neighbors brought pizza and cake and ice cream. And they brought a lot of other things, too. The family across the street brought a table and three kitchen chairs. The very old man next door gave us a bed from when his children were little. My other grandpa brought us this beautiful rug. So they don't have anything in their new apartment, right? Because they lost everything when they had the fire in the last apartment. However, many people in the community are helping to bring things, right? Yeah, so they're giving old things or things that they don't use anymore. My mother's other sister, Sally, had made us red and white curtains. Mama's boss, Josephine, brought pots and pans silverware and dishes. My cousin brought me her own stuffed bear. So it's really kind. So this family lost everything, but so many people in the community are helping them, right, to get these things that they need for their home. Everyone clapped when my grandma made a speech. You are all the kindest people, she said, and we thank you very, very much. It's lucky we are young and can start all over. And look at, there's the jar of coins. It's all full. It's a lot of tips. That was last year, but we still have no sofa and no big chairs. When mama comes home, her feet hurt. So why do you think her mom's feet hurt? So mom is maybe standing a lot all day, right? There's no good place for me to take a load off my feet, she says. So that means to rest, she wants to rest her feet. When grandma wants to sit back and hum and cut up potatoes, she has to get as comfortable as she can on a hard kitchen chair. 
So that is how come Mama brought home the biggest jar she could find at the diner and all the coins started to go into the jar. Now the jar is too heavy for me to lift down. Uncle Sandy gave me a quarter. He had to boost me up so I could put it in. After supper, Mama and Grandma and I stood in front of the jar. Well, I never would have believed it, but I guess it's full, Mama said. My mother brought home little paper wrappers for the nickels and the dimes and the quarters. I counted them all out and wrapped them all up. So they're going to wrap up all these coins and they will take them to the bank and maybe the bank will give them paper money or banknotes. On my mother's day off, we took all the coins to the bank. The bank exchanged them for $10 bills. Then we took the bus downtown to shop for our chair. So here they're shopping for the chair and we see all different kinds of chairs and they are trying the chair, maybe checking to see if it's comfortable. We shopped through four furniture stores. We tried out big chairs and smaller ones, high chairs and low chairs, soft chairs and harder chairs. Grandma said she felt like Goldilocks in the Three Bears, trying out all the chairs. Finally, we found the chair we were all dreaming of, and the money in the jar was enough to pay for it. We called Aunt Ida and Uncle Sandy. They came right down in their pickup truck to drive the chair home for us. They knew we couldn't wait for it to be delivered. So, did they carry the chair home? Mm -mm. Who helped them to bring it home? Her aunt and uncle, right? Yeah, they have a pickup truck and they help them to bring it home. And there's the pickup truck. I tried out our chair in the back of the truck. Mama wouldn't let me sit there while we drove, but they let me sit in it while they carried it up to the door. We set the chair right beside the window with the red and white curtains. Grandma and Mama and I all sat in it while Aunt Ida took our picture. I guess it's a really big chair, huh? If all three of them can fit in the chair? Now Grandma sits in it and talks with people going by in the daytime. Mama sits down and watches the news on TV when she comes home from her job. After supper, I sit with her and she can reach right up and turn out the light if I fall asleep in her lap. Okay, that is the end of our story. And now we know why the title was A Chair for My Mother, right? Yeah, so the, why did she want to get a chair for her mother? Yeah, so her mom could rest after work. And why did they need to buy a new chair? What happened to their old chairs and furniture? Yeah, it burned in the fire, right? Okay, but luckily everyone in the community helped them to get a new place and to get new things to furnish their apartment. So what we learned from here is that even though the family lost 
their last apartment and all of their things. The community and the people came together, came together to help them, right? Yeah, and it makes it a lot easier for them so they can start their life again and they can be more comfortable. They can be comfortable again and continue going to school and going to work. Yeah, so it's nice when we can help other people, even if those people aren't our family. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this week's story and have a wonderful week. And until next time, bye-bye.